Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be walking through on how to set up your React project into your local machine. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go to whitejs.dev and as you can see here, whitejs framework that we'll be using to install and set up our React project. Now let's go to, let's click on get started here. You just need to scroll down a bit and you'll find scaffolding your first white project with npm here. So we're going to be just copying this. And we got, we're going to be going to our desktop and opening our terminal. And we'll be pasting that command we have copied and run it. And we would like to name our project. In this case, I have to say user authentication, superbase, enter, choose React, choose JavaScript. There you go. Now you have to do this following command here. Just need to copy all this tree, copy, and then we're going to be pasting it inside here. And I'm just going to say paste anyway. And there you go. Once you have already installed the NPM packages, now we can just close this terminal and go to our desktop and refresh the page. And as you can see here, we happen to have that particular React project we have just downloaded. You just need to open it with VS Code. And let's go to source. And as you can see here, we also happen to have some boilerplate code that we have already been there. And let's click, go to our terminal and let's run this particular project. And in the terminal, just we're gonna just say npm run dev enter. Let's put this aside here, and we can actually meanwhile open our browser, and let's click on this particular localhost link, and now you will get to see your React project running on your browser. And what we can also do is that before we end this video, we can actually make this app.jsx to to remove all this boilerplate code, and in this case, we're just gonna be placing a blank React functional component using R A F C E command and click enter and let's click save and there you go now you happen to see that only you have could have only app here and the reason why this particular app is at the center here because we, we won't be needing any of this app.css we're going to be removing all this save we're going to be removing index.css as well all this select all command save and there you go now your project is basically an empty blank project which does not have a single styling here and right now we are good to go with our following steps which are to create the form and the setting up the authentication workflows thanks for watching